Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased uh, to be here today announcing government's next step on research and innovation in clean or climate technology. One of the recommendations of the province's climate leadership panel was for the province to review our spending on energy technology and innovation related to climate change. Because the carbon levy will mean that Alberta is making a truly historic investment in innovation. This is important not just because of the world changing technologies that we can discover here in Alberta, but also because it can help us create good jobs for Albertans. The economy of the next 30 years will look very different than the economy of the last 30 years. And to be competitive on the changing global economy, Alberta needs to be in the race because truly it is a global race for clean technology and innovation. This government's climate leadership plan has moved us forward. It means that Alberta is now in that global race. But in order to truly compete, we need to think carefully about how to structure our government's coming historic investment in research and innovation related to climate change. That's why I'm pleased to announce that the government has established a climate technology task force. This is an independent task force that will seek input from experts on a variety of topics, including how to target provincial funding to meet the province's climate change objectives, how to ensure the province's research and innovation system works together to accomplish those objectives, and how to provide measurable outcomes to the system so we all know what success looks like. The five-member panel includes a chair and four panel members. Each member brings a wealth of knowledge and experience in research development and deployment of climate change related technology and innovation. The panel members include Gordon Lambert as chair, Dr. Vic Adamovitz, Shelley Vermillion, Suzanne West, and Sarah Hastings Simon. I'm particularly pleased that Gord Lambert has agreed to chair the panel. Gord served as part of Alberta's climate change advisory panel last year and currently serves as a board member of Alberta Innovates. He is ideally suited to lead a team of experts in conducting this stakeholder engagement. And his participation in the task force helps ensure Alberta's research and innovation system as a whole is taken into consideration. The task force is expected to hold targeted stakeholder sessions in Calgary, Edmonton, Grand Prairie, and Lethbridge this October to ensure input from across the province. The work of the panel is vital to help shape the framework and set a path forward for the province's emission reduction goals. In closing, let me say that Alberta is committed to being a responsible global energy supplier and an innovative leader in greenhouse gas reduction technology. Wise investment in greenhouse gas reduction technologies will protect our environment and help grow and diversify Alberta's economy. Alberta's innovation and technology leaders are among the world's brightest minds. I'm confident their input will help establish a bold framework to ensure our investments are made where they are most beneficial. And I look forward to receiving the recommendations of the task force. The Alberta of tomorrow must be more diversified more innovative, and we must be competitive in the global innovation race. The work of this task force will be crucial to ensuring we get started with the best plan possible. Thank you. And now I'll invite uh, Gordon Lambert to make a few comments. Thank you, Minister. And I'd just like to begin by thanking the Minister for the opportunity to serve as chair of the task force and at a very important time. I know my fellow task force members make up a terrific team. They each, every one of them has expertise that is of tremendous help to the effort that we have going forward. And we've already started to plan our work together. We look forward to meeting with experts in, in Alberta and beyond to create a world-class innovation and technology effort to address energy and climate change. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now open the floor to some questions. If there's any from the floor. Um, maybe for both of you, what do you see uh, the panel's role, I guess? Is it essentially 
um, advising the province on, hey, this is how you can best invest money in green technology to, to, to make money or to have, you know, measurable differences? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, this is an expert panel that's going to be doing some targeted uh, stakeholder consultations in order to advise government uh, on, so part of, of the, uh, the carbon levy that we'll be collecting will be directed toward innovation in, in clean technology. And we're relying on, uh, on experts to go out in the field to, to speak to business, industry, uh, targeted community members, First Nations, small business owners on what is the best use uh, for some of this carbon levy, investing in innovation to ensure we get not just the best bang for our buck, but really where are we, where can we be globally competitive? Uh, did you, you want to add, add anything? Gordon? And a really important part of that conversation is going to be defining outcomes. So think of it as defining what success looks like. And clarity of, of defining what success look, look, looks like is going to allow for alignment of efforts across academia, across business, and uh, small entrepreneurs towards getting those outcomes. So that alignment of effort is going to uh, be one of the most important uh, contributions of the task force exercise. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, Mr. Billis, you're here talking about this. The Premier's in uh, New York City talking about, uh, you know, to a, a fairly international audience on climate change. Is there an indication here, uh, you know, both these come on the same day of that, uh, you know, this government is really getting into, uh, I guess, climate change and the fight against it being a, a huge part of what you're trying to do right now? Well, absolutely. I mean, this is, uh, this is a priority for our government. Um, and part of, of this is a priority not just because of Alberta's role as a global citizen, but this is also a real opportunity for Alberta. And so, uh, you know, this task force dovetails very nicely with the work that's going on in environment and parks and the climate leadership plan uh, as a whole. But, uh, you know, experts have told us that uh, putting a price on carbon is, is half of the equation, but you also need to invest in innovation in, within uh, clean technology to get uh, to the desired outcomes that we want. Sorry if this has already been said and I missed it, but when will this panel be reporting back and what form will that take and, and then how so soon after that can we expect some announcements on where some of this uh, carbon levy money will go? Right, so uh, the task force is going to be meeting it throughout the month of October um, in those, uh, those cities I listed. Um, and then they will be reporting back to, uh, to me, I believe, uh, in November. Um, and we'll be looking at uh, their report and feedback um, as we're looking at how we want to allocate dollars from the carbon levy. Will that report be made public? Um, you know, at, at this point in time, that report uh, is intended for, for government, but uh, I can tell you that uh, that's something that uh, we will take into consideration, absolutely. The other thing that's really important to, to mention, which I don't know if I, I did clearly uh, earlier, is that these stakeholder consultations are targeted, uh, but there is an opportunity for any interested and all interested Albertans uh, to share their feedback uh, through uh, submitting an email to the task force, which is cttf at gov.ab.ca. Why do you uh, want a task force to do this? Why not just have your administration uh, look into this issue? Well, you know, first of all, we wanted, uh, we wanted an independent task force going out uh, that, again, have a, a variety of, of backgrounds and expertise. Uh, I believe our task force, uh, you know, is, is an incredible group uh, and collectively have a wealth of knowledge that we'll be able to go out and, and engage with, uh, with stakeholders to provide feedback to government. I think, quite, quite honestly, that this independent task force uh, is the best best tool or best means to gather that uh, that input and make recommendations back to government. I know that one of their objectives is to uh, find how to measure success, but do you have any high level ideas in general of where you would see success happening? Is it purely on reductions of uh, greenhouse gases or job creation or do you have a yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, on the high level, obviously, we, we our climate leadership plan uh, illustrates exactly the uh, the direction and outcomes that we're going. Uh, this is one of the ways that we're going to reach some of these outcomes through innovation, through technology, um, but as well, you know, the the 
dollars from the carbon levy that are in, in being reinvested uh, into the economy will create jobs and will help Alberta uh, transition. And so, um, you know, we want to ensure that we're looking at specifically what are the outcomes so that we can judge success. So, so will they come up with some sort of balance, jobs, greenhouse gas reductions, other things, and kind of come up with a, uh, some sort of template there? Well, I mean, uh, I don't want to preempt. I, I don't want to preempt the uh, the work of the uh, the committee with how their outcomes are going to look, but uh, you know they're very clear that uh, that is part of of their recommendations. How do we judge success uh, so that Albertans can see uh, our investment within uh, clean technology and innovation uh, that their their dollars are are going to uh, to be used in the best way possible? And now we have a caller on the line, operator. If you would wouldn't mind putting them through, please. Your next question comes from the line of Alexandra Zepchek from CBC Edmonton. Your line is open. Oh, hi. Uh, a couple of questions here. Uh, I'm just wondering if you can break down for us exactly how much money uh, would be kind of that the task force should be considering when they're making their recommendations. Uh, obviously, that would kind of inform what sort of recommendations they would make on investments in clean technology. And my second question is just about timelines. Uh, the carbon levy is coming in in January. If this task force is going to be working October through November, I mean, surely you must have some guidelines or ideas for them on where exactly this money should, what kind of technologies and projects this money should go towards, and can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because um, that's an awfully t tight timeline to come up with a, a big strategy for, for these funds. Right, and so uh, good questions. Um, I'm trying to think your first one was on timelines. Um, uh, sorry, first one is just about money. Uh, how much money w will this, this task force be kind of looking at and considering? Right. So uh, what we didn't want to do was, was preempt the task force. So we haven't indicated to them what percentage, say, of the carbon uh, levy that, uh, that will be going toward innovation. What we want uh, the task force to do is to go out to consult and, quite frankly, make recommendations to government on how much of that should be, should be invested in clean technology and innovation. Um, as far as, uh, as timelines, again, the, the panel, because of their background, uh, they're experts in a variety of, of different ways. I encourage you to, uh, to take a look at uh, the different uh, hats that they've worn um, throughout their, their lifetime. But we're, you know, the, the timelines are such that you're right. On January 1st uh, of 2017, the $20 um, uh, per megaton uh, carbon levy will be in place. Uh, but I believe that uh, within the month of October, their targeted consultations, including feedback from Albertans, uh, that they will be able to come back to, uh, to me and to government to say, this is what we recommend on, uh, on where to invest some of these dollars. All right, thank you very much, everyone, for coming out today. And thank you, Minister Billis, and thank you, Gordon Lambert, for joining us today. Thank Thanks. you, folks. Have a good day.